Righto, and in today's video we're going to take a look at five vehicles that probably should not be premium and rather they should be regular tech tree vehicles. And let me know in the comments down below what you think should be a tech tree vehicle out of all the premium vehicles. I haven't included land lease vehicles and I haven't included rare one-off premiums or specialty ace vehicles that are, that are named after someone. Anyhow, first on the list is the Pack Puma, very infamous vehicle with a 75mm gun. I think this, this this thing is impressive, considering it is one of the most expensive premium vehicles in game. For what it is, you get a, a fantastic scouting and fantastic mobility. It's just a fantastic vehicle. Now, number two. This might surprise you, because essentially, the Mercavas in the American tech tree, the event Mercavas, the Mark 1, the Mark 2D, and the 3D are all vehicles that possibly have been implemented already into the Israeli tech tree. But I don't see them being particularly useful in the American tech tree either. So the 3D I don't think is in the tech tree. If it is or isn't, I do apologize, but it's on this list primarily because you can't have enough bloody Mercavas. Honestly, with the recent dev blog of one, I think we're never going to run out of variants in War Thunder. It's a bit like the Spitfire. In fact, there are more Mercavas in-game than there are Abrams. So, it's quite a fun one. And with that, you know, I just feel like it's a piece of crap. Moving on. This is possibly one of my favourite vehicles, the BMD-4. Essentially, it was promised and really early on that there would be a tech victory variant of this machine in some capacity. And it's fantastic. It does everything well. It's got an ATGM, it's got scouting, it's got smoke, it has everything. And the fact that it is a event vehicle, a rather expensive event vehicle at that, is quite shocking because everybody and their mother seems to have one of these, at least early on when it was first introduced. And the main drawback of this machine is the fact that it is a light tank, but more importantly, it is just an all-round uh, fantastic vehicle to drive. The APHE on the machine gun, I will sort of say the main 30mm cannon that is attached to the 105 gun, is fantastic. You can lob high explosive shells as well as an ATGM. And I don't have separate keybinds set up for them, for them yet, so I just end up firing more ATGMs. But I just enjoy this vehicle so much. It is good fun. Not only does it have everything that you want out of a machine, but it also does a lot of things that you wouldn't expect. It's amphibious, so you can have pneumatic control of the suspension. You really want to be sneaky or fit in areas where you're not supposed to be. So a combination of that really makes this machine wonderful to drive, and it's a pleasant thing to play despite it having rather lackluster armor. And it was promised that this vehicle would potentially have counterparts introduced in the tech tree at some point. But that some point has to come soon because, well, it's a very, very good vehicle. And it, it's it, as a production vehicle, I don't understand why it's just a regular old event vehicle. Righto, next on the list is a little bit of a frustration. This is the M8 LAC. It's an American armored car with a beautiful 50 caliber gun, a coaxial, and a 37. Now, it's a very low power gun, but for what it does, it does everything that you really want out of a, a out of a, a little light vehicle. My biggest gripe with this machine is the fact that it is a premium vehicle that is hidden and an event vehicle. Yet the Chinese tech tree gets one at 1.0 as almost a reserve vehicle that is incredibly good because it's available to everybody. So this vehicle probably shouldn't be a premium and rather should be in the tech tree. Like its Chinese counterpart, this thing is incredibly potent in the right hands. And even if you're damaged or have low amount of crew, you can still achieve a decent success in it. The next vehicle is the Turan. Specifically because its counterparts were promised to be regular tech tree vehicles as a part of the Italian tank tree. Hungarian and Romanian vehicles were supposed to be the mainstay of extra content to a underdeveloped nation that really was the head of the minor axes in the second world war italy was basically the place where all the, the the people that were in the axis powers really met so italy being the head of that small minor sort of faction was quite interesting considering that germany was preoccupied with everything else so you know internal politics have determined that romanian vehicles and, and hungarian vehicles while they are fantastic 
probably should be in a tech tree. And that's why this thing, the Turan, and even to a later extent, the Hungarian vehicles that are in the uh, ground tree, like the Toldi, should be in the regular tech tree. Anyway, that's all the time I've got for today. I've, I kind of forgot to make a video today, so this is basically it. And stay tuned, as there's probably going to be uh, an aircraft video uh, tomorrow or the day after.